Okay, we're just going to look at integration by substitution. So to integrate using substitution, substitution that will usually be given to you would be to let u equal, and it's always the thing in, under the inside the bracket where the power is or under the square root. So if u equals x squared minus 4, that will get rid of just that part there. Then du on dx equals 2x. This is the derivative. So if you now look in here, um, this actually hasn't got its dx there. The dx is there and the x is there. So it's nearly a direct match. Just that um, you have, if you rearrange it, it's just that you're missing the 2. So you've got x dx and you're missing the 2 that goes out in front. So put it in and halve it. So you can now go equals half u to the 5 times du because this part here becomes du. So that's a half u to the 6 on 6 plus c. Don't forget Charlie. So that's 1 on 12 and the u is equal to x squared minus 4. And that's to the power of 6. On, oh, I've taken the 6 out. Ready. There. Okay. And then plus C. Okay. Alright. So looking at this one here. So um, you let U equal X cubed plus 2. So the 7 comes out. You have X squared on root u dx so you need to find du on dx and du on dx is 3x squared so du is 3x squared dx so when you look at this you look at what's missing out the front and you notice it is a 3 so put it in and divide by it so you've got 7 on 3 the integral of 1 on root u du so all that's left now is to bring the root u up to get u to the minus half du, which is 7 on 3, u to the half on a half, which is 14 on 3, root u plus c. Okay, so you just got to actually replace the u with what it equals. So it's 14 on 3, the square root of, what's u equal to? x3 plus 2, and then plus c. Now, just looking at this too, you could also just do this as a reverse chain rule. So this is 7x squared, x3 plus 2 to the minus a half. It is not a log because that is not a 1 there. So the 7 goes out because it's dodgy, but the f dash x, the derivative of what's in there is 3. So really there should be a 3 there, but there isn't, so we divide it out. So it's 7 on 3. Using the reverse chain rule, add 1 to the indice, minus a half plus 1 is a half over 1 half. So now when you simplify that, you get 7 and the half, this one will flip up to the top, so it becomes 14 on 3 root x cubed plus 2. And of course, plus c. Okay, so looking at this one here. Once again, you could do it with substitution. So let u equal e minus 4. In 3 unit, usually the substitution is given to you, but it is the thing under the square root. So it's the integral of root u. Now let's just sort out the du on dx. So the du on dx is equal to ex, because minus 4 goes to 0. du is ex dx. So this is 1 du. So it's u to the minus a half du. Add 1 to the indice, you get a half. Divide by it, you get a half. So that's going to be 2 root u plus c. Okay, so the other way you could look at this is the reverse chain rule. Because you can see that when you bring that up, it is a power of minus a half, not 1. And the derivative of the e to the x minus 4 is just e to the x. So it's set up in this form of f dash x, f of x to the power of n dx. So that just ends up being f of x n plus 1 on n plus 1 plus c. 
So you actually don't even need to make any changes to this. It'll just become e to the x minus 4 minus a half plus 1 over minus a half plus 1 plus c, which is e to the x minus 4 to the half on 1 half, and that half will flip, and the 2 will go there. Just with this one here, you can see it's not quite the same answer. Um, but you can see the u is e to the x minus 4, which is plus c. So then you've got the same thing. That's 2 root e to the x minus 4 plus c. So you can do it with the chain rule, or you can just use a substitution with what's under the square root.